What is going on guys? This is Bailey, and this is the Xiaomi Mi Router Mini. It's a smaller, less powerful, but also cheaper version of Xiaomi's flagship Mi Router. Although it was released a little over a year ago, I still thought it would be worth checking out given its low price of about $36 on import. If you are interested in picking one up, there's a link in the description to the official sponsor of this video, Tiny Deal. Tiny Deal is one of the largest online Chinese resellers, and they offer a wide range of products internationally. Be sure to check them out, and with that out of the way, let's talk more about the Mi Router Mini. So at this point, I've already unboxed a Chinese variant and plugged it in using the included power adapter. As you may have noticed, Xiaomi did not include an Ethernet cable, presumably to save on costs. Rather than setting this up as my primary router, I'll be using it as a repeater to extend the range of my current router. There was a QR code printed in the packaging for downloading the Mi Router Companion app, which brought me to a page with a few download options. Unfortunately, it seems that the app posted on the Google Play Store is region locked, so I had to download the APK file and install it manually instead. Once I got the app installed and launched, I connected to the router in my phone settings and tried searching for the router within the app in order to set it up. Oddly enough, the app was unable to detect the router, even after multiple search attempts. After trying to get it to work for about 20 minutes, I gave up and just decided to move over to my computer. Here's where things get a little bit more complicated due to the language barrier. Although there is a nicely designed web interface for setting up this router, it's not available in English. Since I was connected to the router when it did not have the internet connection, I wasn't able to use Chrome's built-in translation service. As a workaround, I used my Google Translate app on my phone to take pictures of the web interface and then translate it from Chinese to English. This actually worked quite well, and I was able to set up the router in a fair amount of time. Once I did get the router to start repeating my Wi-Fi over a new SSID, I tried connecting to it once again using the phone companion app. This time, it worked without any issues, and I was able to access the router settings with the mostly English user interface. There was a firmware update waiting for me, and once it updated, I decided to check out the app a bit more. In addition to the expected standard router settings, there's also features like scheduled downloads, automatic firmware updates, optional web filters, built-in device blacklisting, an interference checker, photo backup tool, quality of service tools for limiting bandwidth for some, but not all devices, a Wi-Fi timer setting, as well as a scheduled reboot option. That's an incredible amount of control when you consider the router's price. And you can even share access to all of these features with family members or roommates by inviting them within the new Wi-Fi app. So once you get through the somewhat tricky setup process for nine Chinese speakers, the router provides a surprisingly good experience for the price. While it's not the best Wi-Fi router out there in terms of raw performance, it is an 802.11ac router with AC1200 class speeds, meaning that you'll cap out at 300 megabits per second over 2.4 gigahertz or 867 megabits per second over 5 gigahertz. The two LAN ports on the back of the router for connecting wired devices do cap out at a considerably lower 100 megabits per second, however. Although these caps may be bottlenecks for some, I don't think the router was intended for those types of users with super fast connections anyway. It's Xiaomi's budget offering after all. And if you're willing to pay for faster internet service, you're also going to look at routers costing anywhere from $100 to $300, not routers costing less than $40. One thing that did disappoint me was the router's inability to repeat using a 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. You can only select a 2.4 GHz network to repeat, but this also isn't really a problem for me personally for my intended uses. To conclude, the Mi Router Mini is an excellent option for the price. It's well built with a nice design, offers a surprisingly number of features, and is overall an incredible value. If you're willing to deal with the non-localized Chinese UI elements and setup, or okay with the speed caps, and don't care to repeat a 5GHz network, then the Mi Router Mini is one of the best options for under $40. As always guys, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about the Xiaomi Mi Router Mini. That is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to subscribe.